All right, we're going to look at example two here now, where we're simplifying this expression up here. 1 plus 10 over cotangent plus 1. There's a few different methods we're going to use here. One is we're going to try our change everything to sine and cosine, and then see what we can do with that. So to start with, I'm going to, I'm going to change the top part of that fraction. The tangent, I'm going to change to that tangent up there, I'm going to change to sine over cos sine theta over cos theta and on the bottom the cotangent I'm going to I'm going to change to cos over sine cos theta over sine theta and the two ones that are involved here I'm going to change them so that I'll be able to add the add these fractions right I need to be able to combine these two things that are on top so instead of just saying plus 1 here I'm going to change the one. This one I'm going to change into cosine over cosine. Cos theta over cos theta. So that one, that's what it turned into. And the reason is because then I can add those together. That's that thing. And just to keep track of things, this is this. And cotangent down here. And then the last thing I'm going to do is this one over here. I'm going to change to... So that one right there is going to become, I want to be able to add it to this, so I'm going to make a common denominator here of sine. So I'm going to change this one to sine over sine. If I change something to something over itself, if I change a 1 to something over itself, I haven't changed the value. It's still, this is still worth 1. That's still 1. It's just got a common denominator with the other fraction there. And let's keep track of where this main division bar is here, that right there. Now, once I do combine those two things then, on the top I have cos over cos plus sine over cos, I can make it cos theta plus sine theta over cos theta, right? Because that's that same denominator. And on the bottom, I can make it cos theta plus sine theta over sine theta. So I have this fraction divided by this fraction. Now, when I have two fractions, uh, probably long ago you learned that when you had A over B divided by C over D, you can change it to, instead of dividing by C over D, you can change it to multiplying by D over C. Now, whether the division's written like that, or it's written with this down below, right, it's the same thing. So here we have it written like this, still, still the same thing. You can you can multiply by the reciprocal instead of dividing by that. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to change this to cos theta plus sine theta divided by cos theta. That's that. That's this top fraction here. This one. And we're going to instead change it to multiplying by the reciprocal of this one that's on the bottom here. This one. The reciprocal of that one. So we're going to have sine theta on top and cos theta plus sine theta on the bottom. Now let's scroll down a bit here, not much more room, but at this point now we have this binomial and this is the exact same binomial there. So we can cross that off. We can, like you might be tempted to do some other things, like you might say, hey look, there's two sine thetas here. We can cross those off like this. Can't do that because this is not a factor all by itself. There's a plus sign there. You can't cross off part of that binomial. You can you can divide the entire thing, right, as though there's brackets here, and that can divide with this, because those two are the same. And then we're going to end up with sine theta over cos theta, which is, if I do this for myself here, make a bit more space. I ran out of space, so I'm just going to squish it a bit there. And I have sine over cos is tan theta. That's the single trig function that it is equal to. All right. Now let's do the second method here, which is for this particular one, we're going to try changing everything to tangent. Now the reason that that uh, is a maybe a good choice here is because the only things involved here are tangent and cotangent. And you have an identity that relates those two together. Cotangent is one over tangent. Now, if there were some other trig functions involved there, maybe this is not the best method. But for this, since you only have those two, it's going to work pretty well. So I'm going to write the top 
exactly as is, 1 plus 10 theta. But on the bottom, I am going to change this to that cotangent right here. I'm going to change that to 1 over tangent. And then the rest is the same. All right, so the only thing I changed was that was that cotangent to 1, one over tangent. Now, I do need to change one other thing, similar to what I did over here, because I wanted to add these two things together. If I want to start to uh, to work with this, I'm going to need to change this so that I can combine these two things together. Now, you might think, hey, why don't I just try what I did over here, which is, uh, you know, flip the bottom one over and multiply instead. Instead of dividing by that fraction, change it to multiplying by the reciprocal. Because a pretty common mistake would be trying to take this thing and then writing it up here as 10 theta over 1 plus 1. You can't do that if it's not a single fraction, right? This is not a single fraction right now. It's two different pieces, right? It's this fraction and this fraction. So we need to combine that together before we use that approach. So it's going to be pretty similar to what we did over there. So then what we need to do is change that one. So it's, instead of that one is going to become, this one here is going to become 10 theta over tan theta, right? Then you have a common denominator there. So that's what that bottom piece. Now the top we're leaving the same because they're already involved in tan. There's no fractions involved, so we don't have to do anything with the top. So if we continue on here, 1 plus tan theta over, if we combine those two together, we got 1 plus tan theta over tan theta. Now here it's really important to note which was the main division bar there, so make it a lot longer. So we have that. Now we have dividing by a fraction exactly the same way we did over here. And that good strategy was change it to multiplying by the reciprocal. Now this is tangents involved, but and then the thing on top is not a fraction. So we're going to change this to multiplying by the reciprocal. Let's make a bit more space. 1 plus 10. So we took the thing that was on the bottom and multiplied by the reciprocal. Now there's one thing slightly mathematically wrong with the way I wrote this here. Here it's the entire thing on top divided by that fraction. But when I write it like this, if you know your order of operations, this is only the tangent multiplied by that. So you have two choices. You either have to put some brackets around here to say it's that entire thing times that fraction, or you could achieve the same thing by doing this, whichever one you like better. Now maybe let's move this up a bit here so I got some more space. And maybe I could have even moved that one a bit so you can keep the difference. So at this point, you can do something similar to what we did over here, which is get rid of those two binomial factors because we have this one and this one that are identical, 1 plus 10. Once you do that, you're already left with 10 divided by 1, which is just tangent and there's your single trig function. So that's a second method of, of doing this that works well here. Now the third method for this, if I, uh, let me copy that down again. One plus tan theta, so we're starting with again, cotangent theta plus one. Now this is uh, something that might not be obvious to, to do, but it's a different way of doing this uh, that's gonna work very quickly here because, as I said here, very sneaky. If I was to multiply this by tangent over tangent, what we're going to end up with is, on the top, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I'm not actually going to multiply it out. I'm going to put some brackets to say 1 plus tangent times tangent. But on the bottom, if I multiply this tangent by both of these factors, the first thing I get is tangent times cotangent, those are reciprocals of each other, right? We wrote that we wrote that up here. They're reciprocals of each other, so when you multiply them, you get 1. And then if I multiply the second thing here, tangent times 1, I get tangent, all right? Now when you look at that, you have this factor here and the same factor here. So just like before, we can cross those out, we can divide those, they divide to 1, 
and you're just left with tan theta. All right, so that's uh, three different ways to to simplify that expression, and of course you're going to get the same thing every time tan theta. Some similarities that that happen there are in every single one of them. At some point, you had to you had to cancel out or you know divide a binomial by a binomial to simplify it. When you look at a trig expression and you're trying to simplify it, if the expression that you're starting with is a binomial over a binomial, something plus something over something plus something, and you're trying to get it to be a single trig function, at some point you're going to have to most likely divide uh, divide two binomials, cancel two binomials. All right. So that is uh, three different ways to accomplish simplifying that trig expression.